John Taffer is a bar and nightclub owner who has started, flipped, or owned numerous establishments in a career that spans over three decades. Bar owners submit an application via the Paramount Network website to have their failing establishment rescued by Taffer and his team of experts. A typical episode begins with Taffer's team performing reconnaissance and surveillance on a struggling bar to determine its operational and service weaknesses. Even while doing all this, some bars just could not be saved. In today's video, we are going to show you some bars that were doomed from the start, so stay tuned. Mystique Lounge Mystique Lounge attracted a bad crowd in West Palm Beach, Florida, which ended up turning into shootings outside the club. John Taffer came in to clean the place and get the right clientele in there. He did not succeed. He had one night where the bottle service wasn't a train wreck, but once he skipped the town, the newly minted Aura nightclub didn't last much longer. Yikes. How can you say I suck when they don't even come in because they have no customers to dance for? Swanky Bubbles Swanky Bubbles in Philadelphia was remade as Sheer Philly in Season 1. Within months of Swanky Bubbles getting rescued, it was closed down. Actually, they changed the name back to Swanky Bubbles almost immediately once Taffer was gone. Philly has lost its premier champagne bar, and now they don't know what to do with themselves. Obviously, this bar has closed down since then, and it was very promising. In fact, it was one of the better bars that Taffer ended up having the chance to rescue, as the location and the establishment were perfect due to the fact of the high nightlife that Philly produces every single week, and also the nature of the bar had kind of a sheer vintage look. It was very perfect for that city, as the city is known for its hardworking people, and also for its avid night lovers and drinkers at night. So, what were wrong with this bar? Well, it was said that a lot of their liquor and beer was expired after Taffer left, and they ended up going back to their old techniques. They overpriced a lot of drinks that Taffer ended up underpricing so that the customers would come back again. They just got too money hungry and went back to their original roots. This is not what you want to do if you're having your bar rescued and it just stuns me a lot of these bars, after they get all this help, professional help may I add from Taffer and the bar industry, they're able to go back to what they used to be. There you go. Thank you very much for your patience. Do you need anything else at this moment? Kilkenny's Irish Pub Kilkenny's Irish Pub in California was mismanaged straight to hell, and Taffer did his best but couldn't get it done. The pub got a whole new look and a new name, Breakwall, but the mismanagement of the sisters who ran the place couldn't be overcome. It didn't help from there on that the look of the episode that they both seemed to be sleeping with their bar manager. Taffer fixed the bar, but what we really needed to do here was fix the people. However, on the bubble for season 1, the Chicken Bone renamed The Bone in Framingham, Massachusetts, remained open but struggled. They reduced their hours to be closed for summertime, and the word on the street is that the Framingham Health Department inspector ordered the Chicken Bone to toss all of its food and identified more than a dozen violations that posed as an immediate health hazard. I kind of combine these two because they're very similar in their nature. With Kilkenny's, obviously they had some food mismanagement problems, they had a lot of management problems as well, and the organization was being ran straight into the ground. As for the chicken bone, same thing, management wasn't as good, the food wasn't liable to eat, it just created a lot of unnecessary problems that shouldn't have been there. Professional, but I'm done. This is the first bar rescue I ever walked out of, you blew it. I'm gone, good night. Win Placer Show Win Placer Show in Fairfield, Ohio got its name changed to the god-awful America Live and lasted two and a half months after that. Their landlord locked them out of the bar and had a bunch of drama surrounding the bar's closing and the taping of Bar Rescue with allegations that partners were selling off their pieces of the business before the show ever taped. Nevertheless, John Taffer should have realized that no one would ever want to get drunk at some place called America Live. To be honest, this kind of looked like a wrestling arena. It was a small warehouse that just didn't have a bar look. It felt like you were in a warehouse just hanging out. These bars have to offer comfort and they have to be providing a protection. You have to be willing to go there to drink and have a great time. So me personally, I just wouldn't go to these types of bars. Weber's Place Weber's Place was a strip club turned music club in Rosita, California that Taffer attempted to work his charms on. Taffer turned it into Weaver's Rum and Bar Grill. A year after he worked his magic, it was done. Taffer stopped the musical performances, but if the Yelp reviews are yet to be believed, the bar went back to its old ways. It didn't help that the owner let his staff steal from him, which no one can fix in three days' time. This was a disaster just waiting to finish itself off. That's all we have for today's video, guys. Which bar do you think could have at least had a chance? Let us know in the comments, and we will see you next time.